Hi there, Warwick Johnston from SunWiz with another update for you. We're going to have a look in this podcast at our market update for June and also have a, a interesting chat with Charles Rendigs of Thermashield, which is a really interesting product which uh, complements solar quite nicely. So before we have a chat with Charles, we're going to jump in and have a look at uh, the market update. And there it is on screen for you. Uh, we have seen a nice turnaround in the um, COVID trend, downward trend that we saw in the market uh, with some good growth yeah, there to 237 megawatts, effectively our second best uh, monthly result ever. And uh, yeah, it's heartening to see that that's what's happening. Um, though, of course, uh, it makes you wonder where we could have been if all of this um, COVID malarkey hadn't happened. Uh, despite COVID, we are 38% ahead of the same time last year. Already, um, almost 1.4 gigawatts has been uh, installed. And I don't know if you remember uh, back in 2016, um, that's uh, well and truly above what we did for the, the entire year. So uh, the market is still healthy and still, still growing well. What we saw was an uptick in a system size, average system size, and that was actually driven by a surge in the volumes of commercial. So this shows the, this chart shows the volumes by size range, and you can see there was a recovery in those key residential volumes, 6.6 .6 kilowatts. But you see in each of these commercial ranges a significant improvement in volume, and that's what drove the increased average system size. Uh, and Interestingly, that was uh, concentrated, where are we, in New South Wales, where you saw the uh, real big spike in that 75 to 100 kilowatt system range. And Queensland also had a nice upward trend in commercial as well. And for me, it makes me uh, think, okay, is this just a temporary effect of uh, businesses rushing to take advantage of the uh, stimulus measures, the uh, instant tax uh, write-off, or is this a, a trend that will be sustained? Of course, too soon to say just yet, but it was heartening to see that that, that volume surged. And uh, actually, we're going to be talking to today and uh, right now with Charles uh, on a product which is also very uh, applicable to commercial solar. So before we just uh, say good day to Charles, let me show you his, his bio because that's pretty impressive. Um, Member of the Board of Advisors for Power and Utilities Australia 2020, Renewable Energy Project Origination for Zinc Energy, Deputy Chair of Melbourne and National Board um, Director for the Australian Institute of Energy. Um, and today we are going to be talking about a product called Thermashield. Charles, take yourself off mute and, um, and let's have a chat. Um, great to have you here. Uh, welcome to the show. Thanks, Ward. Pleasure. So um, yeah, an imp impressive uh, heritage and, and pedigree there. Um, uh, you, people will note that you don't have an Australian accent. Um, <laughs> how did you get involved in the energy in Australia to the degree that you have? Oh goodness. Um, well, I'm a, I'm a recycled Wall Street guy from New York City and, and came over here to avoid the global financial crisis with my uh, tall blonde Australian wife and my then 18 month old who's now 17. And um, you know, wasn't really wanted to really raise the daughter and and uh, uh, avoid the the fallout from a, uh, a cyclical downturn in America. Um, but I got stuck into the carbon space back in 2006 and was working with a carbon accounting company where I thought I could use my market skills to actually you know help the environment and help with the energy transition and linking the five gigaton China markets. It all sounded very exciting. We had a great company in South Yarra and. Um, we had the carbon price for two years, and then Tony Abbott came in and blew it all up. So I, I decided we don't really talk about carbon in Australia, but we talk about energy. So I invested in a few energy companies around energy efficiency, generation, um, storage, etc. And uh, Thermashield, I just thought was a, a sensible, um, low-hanging fruit um, technology that would would assist in the energy transition and energy efficiency and. And, uh, and it's still going strong, been here since 1997, and uh, it's, it's, it's just a, a great technology and it's complementary to solar. Right, and so for people who don't know what Thermashield is, can you give a quick uh, overview of what the product is and, and what it does? 
Yes, yes. Um, we, we locally manufacture in Dandenong. It's an insulating coating technology. So it's a, it's a industrial coating where you, you put on assets. Um, we do everything from beehives to airports. Um, and uh, it's had its life cycle assessment done since we collect rainwater off things in Australia. We wanted to get all that sorted and ISO certifications, et cetera. Um, and we've done a lot of work with the University of Melbourne since 2009 around um, energy efficiency and building assets. And then we extended the study that started with DSE back in the day. Um, and then uh, at the Burnley campus, uh, just did some testing around how thermal shields, the cool roof coatings make PV systems more efficient by up to seven to 10%, um, just by keeping the, um, the area around the, the PV install cool. And obviously, because we usually come in a light color, we do reflect more visible light around the place. Um, but we get roofs down from 80 degrees to 30 degrees, which obviously helps with the generation coefficient of PV panels. Yeah, look, um, I will admit here that I've got dual product on, on my roof. I know it as the um, you know, ceramic sh uh, shield that reduces the, the roof temperature and uh, therefore, of course, uh, reduces roof uh, heat ingress. But it was remarkable. Uh, I've got a you know, silver flat roof and that I thought would be, you know, it's, it's a cool color. Um, but, you know, before your product was on my roof, it was still uncomfortable to kneel, kneel on in, in, in summer. You know, you, you'd... Um, wouldn't quite fry your skin, but you'd certainly bake it. And um, I can only imagine as solar installers, um, uh, much more pleasant working environment to, to be installing solar on, on top of a roof which has your product on the shield. Well, uh, solar guys have sent me pictures of them with their shirts off laying down on a, a thermoshield shield roof. And they like working on it because it, um, it's a little bit tacky, so it gives you better uh, traction on the roof to do do the work also, just as a, a side benefit, but uh, you know, anything we can do to help. <laughs> yeah, cool. Now, um, let me uh, also put up on the screen there another uh, image of, um, well, an image of the product in action, if you like. Um, one of the things you were discussing was, uh, hold on, let me wait for my screen to update there. Oh, I think it's taking some time. Um, now, let me see if I can stop that and start again. Sorry. Let's try this one. Okay, so showing the roof uh, here of a job that you did recently, and this is a very rusted roof. Um, and you can see the, the before shot and after shot. Um, and so this isn't just necessarily about hey, um, we've reduced the heat ingress and um, uh, for, for that site and had an um, uh, improvement to the solar yield. Um, this sort of, to me, as I understand it, it's like means it's a, a job you couldn't have installed solar on because they needed to replace it, um, basically. Um, it turned into a, a job that's um, perfect for solar. So um, you mentioned, mentioned asset protection there. Um, talk us through um, what this product does um, for, for the uh, owner. Well, exactly. We want to, um, obviously, with my larger interests in energy, we want to enable the transition to um, renewables. Um, but obviously, sometimes you come across assets where it, it gets, it's not as simple as um, <clears throat> just calling a, a solar company and, and dealing with all the connections, et cetera, and um, getting the, the PV on the roof. So what we want to do is work with groups so that um, when you have the end client, the, the roof condition isn't a barrier to a PV installation. So our value proposition is we'll deal with the roof around asset protection future proofing. So that's dealing with the corrosion and um, any structural issues um, that we can assist with. Um, putting the end product of the thermoshield on the roof uh, to stop expansion and contraction of the roof. And um, then of course we make the PV more efficient. So we're actually generating more energy which helps with the ROI around projects. <clears throat> and we're always looking to do more research and data monitoring um, because obviously we, you know, we do work all over Australia. We've done Woolworths and Tasmania to the Mackay Convention Center in Queensland to the uh, coal, power, coal fire power station in Collie WA. Um, so, like, in other words, we really want to help get more solar up there. We do the. We always started as an energy efficiency product, 
but with the uptake of solar over the years, it's, it's just a, a great complementary um, technology to to make the roof condition not a barrier to install. And then, of course, the, the energy efficiency benefits and the increase in PV generation. So it, it's, it's a great value stack in the way the world's evolved around the transition to renewables. Yeah, I understand. Um, I was showing a job there right beside the, um, the Carlton United uh, brewery there, but uh, also been involved with some uh, jobs that have ended up with sizable solar systems and well-known solar systems on them. Um, so how, how do solar companies interface with you? Um, uh, and and how do they uh, how do they learn more about your products so that they can approach customers that have got you know rusty roofs and say yes we can do solar no you don't have to wait till you replace the roof. Um, well, well, I'd like to think that everyone knows where to find me, uh, but um, we we did a lot of work with after the University of Melbourne research. Um, we actually turned that into a, a very large commercial project over a couple of years, around forty buildings and. I think almost two megawatts um, across a number of campuses and a lot of solar companies were involved in that project and they got to work on our roofs and uh, you know obviously conversations were had and data was exchanged and uh, we, we kind of spread the word organically that way. Um, obviously we um, are members of the Facility Management Association and also the Energy Efficiency Council so since we touch on obviously the built environment as, as, as well as energy um, you know, we spread the word in, in all sorts of ways, but um, obviously I have the, the website behind me, etc. But um, I'm just charles at thermoshield.com.au, happy to answer any questions. We have um, every, every project gets a case study built around it, so the, the client and everyone knows the work that we've done. Uh, we have multiple drones um, that we fly over our projects and do time-lapse uh, photography on, so that everyone's very clear and we're very transparent around our applications and then for any solar groups that we dock with we're happy to to stay engaged and, and keep looking at the data to to see how all this performs uh, seasonally in different uh, postcodes around the country um, and i'm also working with some solar company uh, solar panel manufacturers at the moment to see how thermoshield um, performs with bifacial panels coming out since it seems like those will be the, <laughs> the the technology of the future, some say. Yeah, look, it's going to be interesting to see how that um, high high reflected solar energy uh, reduces, uh, sorry, results in improved yield in those bifacials. Hey, look, um, we, we love uh, great innovative technology and uh, what you've got there is uh, something that's um, quite, I think, you know, really valuable for, for solar companies to know about. So it's um, been great having you on the show. Um, everyone, uh, check out more at themashield.com.au. Hey, Charles, um, thanks for, um, for coming on the show and having a chat and, uh, and yeah, again, for contributing to um, the energy industry in Australia more broadly. Pleasure, Warwick. Thank you.